Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Allison and I will be leading our workout today. Um, we are going to be doing a fun uh, format that um, includes just a few different kinds of exercises. So we have cardio and then strength moves. Uh, we have two different kinds where we work just one muscle group at a time. So I call those single moves. And then other, another one, which I call combo moves, where that combines the lower body and the upper body. That's one of my favorite exercises of all time. Um, it's just fun and it really gets the heart rate up. So it's also great cardio and strength at the same time. So we're just doing our warm up right now. It's gonna be about four and a half minutes, stepping side to side right now just getting the heart rates up and just kind of loosening everything up before we get started with our, um, our workout. So I call this my C S C S C circuit because it goes cardio, single combo, single combo. And we follow that pattern three times. So it's 15 exercises. Oh, we're doing great finds now. So step Step behind, step together, step behind, step together. And then if you want to add the arms in, go for it. Um, but yeah, the intervals are going to be a minute on, 20 seconds in between moves. Um, yeah, so it'll be 20 minutes for the workout. And then including the, um, the warm up and the cool down, it's about 30 minutes. So now we're doing squats, just some shallow squats. If that doesn't feel comfortable, you can do some knee raises, nothing too crazy. Just again, we're just trying to warm up here. And then I started doing some just like arm circles, big arm circles going back and then also forward. So just kind of switch back and forth in between that, getting the upper body warmed up and ready to go. Um, but yeah, I hope everybody's having a good week. It's spring break around here. Um, hamstring curls now. So that doesn't affect my, my son. He's four and a half. So he's still in school cause he's in VPK, but, um, I have two stepsons and they, um, I take them to school every morning during the week. And, um, because they're not in school, that has been different for our um, schedule this week. So it is a little bit different, but we're not doing anything really out of the ordinary. Um, so just kind of same old situation, but my husband's birthday is actually this Friday. So happy birthday, Nick. <laughs> All right, arms overhead and then tap the toe. So yeah, if you're, if you're new here or new to my channel, my name is Allison, I'm 33. I'm married to my husband of almost six years. I have a four and a half year old son, a 20 month old, 20 month old daughter and two stepsons who are 10 and eight. Uh, we live in Southwest. Sorry about that. I got cut off. We live in Southwest Florida. Um, yeah, so I work part time from home. My YouTube channel is fairly new, as you can see by the amount of videos that I have. But I've been in the fitness industry for a long time. Right after I graduated high school, um, I started working at a gym. And shortly after that, I became certified as a personal trainer. Um, then I worked in the corporate world kind of on and off in between like traveling overseas and all of that stuff. Um, but once I had my son, four and a half years ago, almost five years ago, I started working from home doing um, fitness, like group group exercises virtually. So it's transferred over to a YouTube channel now, which has been super fun. It's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. So I'm really excited to be here and I just appreciate you being here. Um, I'm super grateful for everyone who's subscribed and has just checked out my channel in any way. So yeah, I hope that you're ready for a good workout. We are jogging in place here, finishing out the warm up. If you would prefer to just march in place, that is absolutely fine. You just wanna make sure that you've got a good pace going so that we can you know, just keep the momentum up before we go into our exercises and really start working.
All right, so that concludes the warm up. Nice job. All right, so just go ahead and get some water. And then once you've done that, just step side to side or march in place, just keep moving. We're gonna go into our first move, which is gonna be a side step. You're gonna kind of lower down into a squat, whether that's shallow or a little bit deeper, and you're gonna step to the side. And then the next part of the move is going to be a shuffle hop. And I will demonstrate it here, but so it's gonna be alternating between squat side steps and shuffle jumps or shuffle hops. And instead of the hopping or the jumping, if you would prefer, you can just do side steps in a standing position instead of lowered. So here's the side step and then a shuffle. So we're gonna start now. All right, so you're gonna keep that core nice and tight. You're gonna be feeling it in your legs and just getting getting that heart rate up. You've got this. First exercise has started, so one of 15. All right, we're doing it now. We're having fun. The fun has begun. <laughs> water break <laughs> stay moving after you've gotten your water if you feel like you need it right now you don't have to get water like in between every interval but just kind of feel it out so this next movement is going to be a one and a half shoulder press I'm showing you so you do a partial rep so kind of just pressing up halfway come back down and then press all the way up I'm sitting down just because I'm tall and I wanted to make sure that you could see me well in the um the <clears throat> in the view in the screen oh my goodness I can't talk um, so yeah, I actually just got a new tripod yesterday. Uh, this one that I have been using is br very broken and I've um, just kind of fixed it in a really, you know, not sturdy way. So hopefully moving forward, I can get better angles and stuff like that because I'll actually have a tripod that's in good shape. <laughs> so anyway, so partial down and press all the way, squeezing those shoulders keeping that core tight. If you would like to sit down, you can absolutely do that. So just, it's kind of just preference. If you wanna stand, you can. Either way, we're keeping that core tight and really isolating the shoulders to make this movement happen. Way to go. Almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, way to go. All right, so get water again, stay moving, shake out those shoulders. I was definitely feeling it for this. Um, we are going to be going into our next movement here. So it's going to be a front raise and then a reverse lunge. And then I'm showing you the option of a front raise or a kickback. Um, so time has started. So you're going to reverse lunge with a front raise. And then each time you're going to switch. So it's alternating legs, whether that's the reverse lunge or the kickback. Keeping the core tight. All right, you've got this way to go. Make sure you're breathing. All right, working those legs, working those shoulders. You've got this. So first combo move is in the books. We're gonna move back to our next single move, single strength move, which is going to be for the back. And we're gonna be doing an alternating row. So squeezing the back muscles and we're doing working one side at a time. So I'll demonstrate for you right here. I just kept giving the camera a nod so that when I was editing, I would know when to start. It's so funny. So you wanna try to keep when you're squeezing up as best as you can just squeeze up to where your elbows are uh, parallel to your back. I'm definitely going up 
higher than that is still something that I'm working on. Um, but the more that you can keep your arms parallel, the more that you are really isolating that back instead of bringing in the shoulders. Um, so keep that core tight. Your knees are soft, slightly bent, and then you're leaning forward. Keep a neutral neck so you can see that my head isn't craning up. Uh, I'm facing you now so that you can just see a different angle. Keep squeezing that back. You're doing so great. Keep it up. Nice job. Almost there. All right. Hang in there. Six seconds. You've got this. All right. Great job. We are moving on to our next combination move it's going to be a deadlift into another row this time you're going to be doing a row with both arms at the same time and then you come up from your deadlift um, and then I'm going to be showing you the modification where you can just kind of lean forward until you're like reaching your knee level right there and then row and then bring the hips forward with the squeeze so it's just a modified deadlift with the deadlift you want to lean forward until you full feel that pull in the back of your legs, the hamstrings, and then you're doing your row, and then you're squeezing the back of the legs, the hamstrings, and the glutes, bringing those hips forward. I love the deadlift. I love this combination. The deadlift is a fantastic total body exercise, but it's often used for back um, and legs. Um, so yeah, I love combining this with the row. Keeping that core nice and tight, you wanna keep your weight in your heels. Awesome job, keep it going, we're almost there. You've got this. Nice job, almost done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, way to go. All right, so get some water if you'd like to. We are going to get into our second time through our pattern. So we're going back to cardio. And it's going to be a little side leap or a side step with a jab and you can jab out to the side or forward. So that was the little demonstration. Go ahead and start now. So sidestep or leap and then a jab. During the demonstration, I jabbed to the side and then during the actual thing, I'm jabbing forward. So just kind of do whatever feels more comfortable for you. But you can see that I'm balancing on one foot. So I'm holding that one leg up, keeping the knee up with just a little quick balance. So if you would like to do that, you can. Even if you're doing the step, you can step and then kind of balance hold while you're doing your jabs, but do what's best for you. Lots of options, so just keep moving, keep having fun. You've got this, you're doing so great. All right, we're almost there. 15 more seconds of this interval, keep moving. If you need to take a break, you can, but if you can push through it, I encourage you to do so. You're seven seconds away from having a little break and you can get some water. Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, get water if you need to and just march in place when you're done with that. Next up, we have push-ups. So there's modifications if you wanna, I'm gonna be doing them on my hands and knees. If you wanna do them against the wall or an elevated surface, you can. Um, or hands and knees, hands and toes, but getting started right now, I'm still getting into position. So go ahead and get started before me. And then I end up needing to move because my elbows were running into the couch. <laughs> All right, so set a good pace for yourself. Squeezing those chest muscles, your, um, your arms and your shoulders are also helping, but you're really gonna feel it in your chest. You'll probably also feel it in your chest tomorrow and the day afterwards. <laughs> All right, halfway through, keep pushing. Take a break whenever you need to. I know if you're not really used to doing these, uh, a minute is definitely a long time. So listen to your body, push through if you can, but also listen to your body if it's telling you to take a break. 15 more seconds. All right, great job, thumbs up for getting those done. We are going to move on now to another chest exercise. Um, this is gonna be our combo move. So we have an incline chest squeeze, 
with a um, plie squat. So toes are out at a 45 degree angle doing a plie squat. So just go down into a squat like you would if your toes were forward. And then with your hands, you're pressing in on the heels of your hands as if you're holding a coin in, in your hands and you don't want to drop it. So you're pushing it out and back in, still pressing in on the heels of your hands. I'm showing you that modification with the step and drag. If you do that option, really drag your foot across the floor so that you engage those inner thighs. So lower down into the plie squat, come up and then press up and out, back in. All right, very good. Also remember, to keep that core tight as always. And with a squat, keeping your weight distributed into your heels. All right, 19 more seconds. Way to go, keep it up. if you've already gotten water go ahead and march and we are going to go into our first uh, bicep move we're going to do cross body curl so you're doing a bicep curl but it's going to be across your body just like i'm showing you there so alternating arms for each rep go ahead and start so curl when you're curling you're squeezing up and then as you lower you're still controlling that weight back down you don't want to just let it loose and fall there's a contraction when you squeeze up and then you're still working your muscle as you lower it back down so core tight knees are soft and squeeze those arms those biceps we're actually going to work them again now with our combo move it's going to be a side lunge or a side leg lift into a hammer curl so keep you're going to keep your hands just how you see mine there facing in towards each other and then bringing those hands up towards the shoulders so side lunge or a side leg lift as i'm showing here and then a curl and then other side so you're alternating lunges and then hammer curl in between so lunge hammer curl and then to the other side you don't have to go super deep into it I've definitely um, there's been a lot of times with the side lunge where I've gone uh, too far too deep into the lunge and I've pulled a muscle so I was trying my best to really just take it easy here so if you feel um, like if you've never done this exercise before just maybe start with the side lunges or if you're sorry the side leg lifts but if you want to attempt the side lunge and you never have before just don't push yourself in trying to go really deep into that lunge. Seven more seconds. Keep it up. Keep working those legs, those arms. Doing so great. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. All right. Time for water if you need it. And just keeping that heart rate up. So march in place. Step side to side. March around your living room. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Um, we are going back to cardio. So we are now going into our final round of our five exercise pattern. It's going to be alternating between wide fire feet or and then narrow for five seconds. So just follow me going into narrow. So you're just trying to keep your heels up off the ground and just move your feet as quickly as you can. I'm gonna turn to the side momentarily so that you can kind of see what uh, my feet look like, how my heels are up. But yeah, you're just trying to move your feet really quick as if there's fire underneath your feet. Um, but yeah, you can do this. It's a great exercise that you can do at your own pace. So if you're just marching with a wide stance and then marching narrow, um, and then you can obviously go as fast as you wanna go. So I love this exercise for, it's very scalable and um, 
yeah so keep going I know those calves really start to burn I always swing my arms with this one because I feel like it makes the time go faster in my mind <laughs> eight more seconds keep it up keep it up you're doing so good five four three two and one nice job I'm a little bit ahead <laughs> uh, in the video but all right so next we have our first exercise, our single move for triceps. So you're gonna lean forward slightly, our knees are gonna be soft, and then um, our arms are gonna take turns, so alternating. You're gonna bring your elbows up, lock those in place, and then extend back one at a time. So alternating back, back in. And you can see that as I bring the arm back into starting position, I'm still controlling that movement and my elbows are staying up. They're not coming back down. We really wanna make sure that we're keeping them up, locked in place so that we can really target those triceps. For me, my triceps are the, exercise, the muscle group that burns out the fastest. So if you're really feeling the, these and it's really starting to burn, uh, I understand, I feel your literal pain. <laughs> um, if you can push through, do it. But if you start to feel like it's gonna cause an injury or a pulled muscle or something like that, take a break and then get back into it. Or if you're using weights and you feel like it's too much, go ahead and drop them. Um, it's never worth the injury. So keep it up. Nine more seconds, working those triceps. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, way to go, way to go. All right, we're getting there. We have just three more moves. All right, so next up on our agenda is our uh, combo move that's incorporating triceps again with lower body. So we're doing a skull crusher with the arms. Um, so you're bringing your arms, your hands towards your head, keeping those elbows locked, and then you're going into a bridge. So lifting the glutes off the floor, squeezing. So you're doing your triceps and your bridge alternating. Squeeze those glutes and then squeeze those triceps. Actually, don't don't actually let, uh, bring the weights so close to your head that they're hitting your head. Um, I think that the name of this exercise is terrible. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you're just your your palms are facing up towards the sky or the ceiling, and you're lowering down towards your head and then keeping that hand positioning the entire time, and then keeping those heels into the ground as you lift up those glutes. Um, I mean, lift up your, bringing your hips off the ground, squeezing the glutes. Seven more seconds. Way to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. So now we are done with triceps. So our next two exercises, our single strength move and combo strength move will both be for the core. So our first one is going to be side bends. So feet are about shoulder width apart and then your, your knees are going to be soft chest up, shoulders back, and then you're going to reach down to one side and it's gonna be nice and controlled in your core. So if you've never done this move, I would encourage you to do this without weights, but you're gonna control keeping your, your abdominals, your core nice and, and tight, nice and flexed, and then you're gonna slowly reach down to the side and then squeeze that core to come back up. And then you're alternating as you can see. So almost halfway there, 33 seconds to go. Really keep that core nice and tight. You've got this. We've got this and then one more exercise to go. The finish line and stretching in our cool down is so close. Great work, we have one more to go. It's gonna be our combo move for our core. So for each muscle group, we've had one single strength move and one combo move. Um, I'm sure you've picked up on that pattern, but so we have, we're gonna do another plie squat. You can see I'm getting in position there and then lower down, side crunch, side crunch, and we're holding that plie squat for the first 30 seconds. So just keep that position if you can, if you'd like to be up higher or lower, you can, or if you don't want to do the plie squat or if it's not comfortable, you can just do standing crunches to where you go side to side. If you would like to bring your elbow to your knee, you can. 
but once we're at the halfway point, we're gonna do crunch, crunch, and then we'll come up from the plie squat. So here you can see coming up, going back down, crunch, crunch, come up from the squat, lower back down, side crunch, side crunch. All right, very good. So we're really feeling the burn in the legs. Such a great finisher for this workout, getting that core fired up, the, uh, the obliques, our abs, Eight more seconds, and then it's going to be time to stretch and cool down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic job, you crushed that. You just did 15 intervals. And some of those were definitely more challenging than others to do for a full minute, <laughs> but all of it was awesome. And I'm super glad that you showed up and did it. Uh, you can hear toys hitting the floor. My daughter has arrived to where I am doing the voiceover. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, we are just bringing it, uh, bringing everything down right now. So getting water, if you need to pause this, you can, um, but getting water, stepping side to side. And now we've begun our stretching. So right now we're doing a shoulder stretch right now. We're doing a shoulder stretch and then we'll switch sides. Go, go. <laughs> oh, mom life. <laughs> All right, very good. So just feel that stretch. It doesn't need to be crazy. Like you don't have to pull that arm towards you super tight, just enough to where you feel that stretch in your shoulder. All right, moving on to the tricep. So gently pushing on that elbow so that you can stretch the triceps. And then we'll do that on the other side as well. moving on to another stretch so clasp your hands behind you if you can if not you can still do this without uh, reaching your hands together but then just slightly lean forward and bring those hands up all right going into the cat and cow stretch so there's an arch in my back right now and then we're gonna push up and have a rounded back so we're just going back and forth between those. Love this stretch feet are wider than hip width apart and then we are just reaching over bringing that hand over and i just really like to reach as far as i can with my fingertips such a great stretch that you feel in so much of your upper body and then we're switching and going to the other side All right, we're gonna do a couple leg stretches. So starting with the quadricep stretch. This is like my fourth take trying to explain this. <laughs> so keep the knees parallel, and then you're just, you've got your foot or your ankle, whatever that's easiest for you to grab behind you. And then if you would like to hold on to something to the side of you or in front of you, um, it's also easier for balance if you kind of put your arm out to the side or in front of you or above your, like up, just whatever you need to do for balance. But I will say that if your balance isn't quite there yet, I encourage you to hold on to something so that you can really focus on this stretch here. It's not so much, 
it's not so much about balance right now. Uh, that's something that we're kind of always working on throughout our exercises and stuff like that. So right now we want to focus on stretching. All right, so now we're putting one heel forward and then sinking down. We are stretching now the back of the legs, the hamstrings. When we switch from this side to the other leg, go ahead and stand up nice and slow, and then other heel into the ground and sink down. Feel that stretch real good in those hamstrings. So I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, but if you could please like this video, give it a thumbs up, I would super, super appreciate that. It really helps the channel and it pushes the video out to then gain more likes and more um, more subscribers and it just, yeah, it really helps the channel. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, I know it doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it really helps. So thank you so much. Great job on this workout. I hope that you really enjoyed it. You did an amazing job. Um, so again, thank you. And I hope to see you next week.